Hi, I am Dr. Venkatesh. I am a consultant neonatologist. Today I am teaching a common preterm neurological disease, the periventricular leukomalacia. This is commonly seen in preterm neonates between 24 and 32 weeks of gestation. The periventricular white matter rich in premyelinating oligodendrocyte is supplied by the long perforators. The periventricular leukomalacia can be cystic or non cystic, hemorrhagic or non hemorrhagic. The hemorrhagic when follows the intraventricular hemorrhage, the liberation of the iron, the cytokines will damage the white matter and also the post hemorrhagic destruction of the germinal matrix will impair the periventricular white matter. The ultrasound is the tool in the diagnosis of periventricular leukomalacia and this was first described by Davis et al. in 1982. There are four grades. Grade 1 is hyperechogenic periventricular white matter that is lasting for more than one week without cysts. Grade 2 is the formation of small cysts. Grade 3 is the extensive cyst formation including the occipital, frontal and parietal area. Grade 4 is you will find subcortical cysts that is cysts deep into the white matter causing multicystic encephalomalacia. First three grades seen in preterm brine, the last grade is um, related to the term brine. My friends, the diagnosis is made in the neonatal period but adverse neurological outcome in the form of cognitive impairment, visual impairment, motor impairment that is the spastic cerebral palsy commonly seen on follow-up clinic. Uh, MRI is done actually and it shows uh, varied manifestations in the form of hyper intensity periventricular white matter. The, the volume of the brine you may see on the lower side because of the degeneration of the uh, periventricular white matter. You will find ex vacuo prominence of the lateral ventricle and also periventricular gliosis, sometimes thinning of corpus callosum. My friends, can this be prevented? Of course, the prevention of preterm delivery, better antenatal care, perinatal care, postnatal care, including the prevention of infection, can bring down the burden of periventricular leukomalacia. Very important aspect here is the counseling of the parents because once the diagnosis is made you need to explain to them the implications in the future the probable implications that may happen in the future thank you so much